Today on our 2009 Cadillac Escalade, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Takancha Prodigy P3 proportional trailer brake controller for one up to four axles. Part number on it is 90195. Now the P3's proportional setup is really going to help us out in many different situations. Whether it's an emergency braking situation where we need, really need maximum force immediately, the P3 picks up on that and it's going to send that power back to our trailer right up to whatever level we have it set at. If we're just in stop and go traffic and we're just lightly applying the brakes here and then, it's also going to sense that so we don't have to worry about the wheels on our trailer liking up or it dragging our truck down a lot when we just want a little bit of braking power to be applied. Now you can see here on the bottom, we've got a manual override lever. This is going to allow us to manually apply our trailer brakes in the event that we need to. Nice thing about it is no matter where we've got our output set and we reach down in a panic situation, it's only going to go up to that number for us. Here we've got our power setting adjustment here. We can bring that down or up just depending on the weight of our trailer and how much braking force we're going to need. Another nice thing about it is going to be our boost levels. And the boost levels are going to set the initial power and aggressiveness in which our brakes come on. So for boost one, that'd be for a lighter trailer. As we move up through our boost levels, it goes to bigger and bigger trailers. And we can even set the boost off if we've got a light unloaded trailer that we won't need that immediate, immediate response from. Now the great thing about the Takancha, as you can see, we've got setups for the display, the brake type, and help to help us work through everything. And it has five storable settings for different trailers, drivers, or conditions. Now we need to begin our installation by finding our factory wiring that's going to exist underneath the dashboard. Now here we've got our onboard diagnostic port. We're going to go back from that about four inches, just about to the very front of our parking brake here. There's going to be a wiring harness that runs right behind this little tab. There's a piece of tape that's holding it on, and it's got this piece of white paper on it that indicates what needs to be connected where. So we want to be careful and just lightly trim that tape and then pull down our harness. Here you can see we've got a red with black, dark blue, a white, and then a light blue with white. Let's pull off our tag here as well. You'll see on here it's going to tell us what we need to connect where. We need to look at our brake controller instructions. It's also going to have instructions for what wire goes to what. We'll start with our ground here. I'll strip this off. Use one of the smaller butt connectors provided with our brake controller. Just go through and we'll add our connectors to each one of our wires here. Maybe a little bit more. The two small wires get the blue butt connectors. The two larger ones are going to get the yellow. Now we'll bring in the pigtail that's going to come with the brake controller. And we'll use the diagram that we've got here, or we'll use the list that we've got here, and we're going to match that up to the list that's in our instructions and start hooking up our wires. Our white wire is going to go to the white wire. Now our black wire is going to be our battery wire that goes to the red and black. Now our red wire is going to go to our stoplight wire, which is going to be the light blue and white. And then finally, our darker blue wire, that's going to be connected to the darker blue wire from our pigtail. Alright, now let's take a second just to kind of tape this all up, make it look a little bit nicer. All right, now with that wrapped up, that'll give us a nice clean wiring look so we won't have four separate wires kind of hanging out. 
We're just gonna set that aside and let's get our brake controller put in. Now we can mount our brake controller. Um, we can pick really any spot here on or under the dash that we like. I like to use this small screw that's right here. There's already a hole there. It goes into a metal bracket. It's gonna give us a lot of support. You can mount up here on the dash if you want, as long as you stay in our, our angle limitations on it. The one area I would avoid would be over here on this left side. Uh, you might bump your knee when you're getting in and out of the car. Uh, just anywhere over like on this side should be fine or right down here where we're going to go. So now I'll just pull that Phillips screw out. I'll slide my bracket in right behind that plastic piece. Tighten that down. And then we can also use one of the provided self-tapping screws to secure it here on the other side. All right, that nice and secure. We'll slide our pigtail right into the rear. Make sure it's connected nice and tight. And then we can use our hole on each side and thread in our machine screws after we pass them through our bracket. Perfect, now let's secure our excess pigtail. We're just gonna group that up and we'll secure it right off to our vent. Trim off our zip tie. Now we can head under the hood and hook up our two wires. Now let's pull the cover off of our fuse block here. And we'll see two studs sticking up here, one here and one here. Now we need to connect one of our wires that's hanging out right down here. And you can see it just underneath that wiring cluster there, that red one with the black stripe. We'll pull that one up here as well. Now the wire that we've got down here on that cluster, it's going to go to the smaller stud. The wire that's over here on this main harness is going to go to the larger stud. We will need a couple of nuts to help hold these on. To access them, we'll just pull out on the small tab and up on the gray lever. We'll bring our wires in, place our nuts on, and the other one we're hooking up, that's going to be power back to the trailer connector. But since we're here, we might as well get them both taken care of. Now we can put our cover back on after we kind of bend those down. Now we can see there that we've got power coming to our trailer. Everything's fine there. Now that we know it's recognizing the trailer, let's unhook it and make sure it flashes and gives us the signal. It has a constant monitoring to where if something happens with our connection, it's going to let us know. Now the screen should turn red and it should be flashing no trailer connected and give us an indication, just like that. With everything working as it should, that's going to complete today's installation of the Tecantra Prodigy Proportional Trailer Brake Controller part number 90195 on our 2009 Cadillac Escalade.